Hello everyone, back to you into today's first video, doing JMA Friday for today's first video. So as always on a Friday, we're doing your month ahead, look ahead, and this is going to take us uh, towards the latter stages of November. So we'll have a look at the JMA um, month ahead forecast first of all, and then we'll compare it to the CFS V2, so we can find trends between the two models in the way things are forecast to progress over the um, coming month. Uh, just say that uh, later on today, we're going to have a look at the weather for next week to 10 days. We'll have your regular week to 10 day uh, weather forecast uh, video that'll be with you this afternoon here on the homepage. Tomorrow, uh, we've got uh, not only weekend forecast, and the week to 10 day update will be a third video starting us off tomorrow, which will be the uh, seasonal model roundup, the winter of 2018-19. Only the second one of those that we've done this season. So we get 11 long range models together and see what they're all showing uh, for the winter. I'll talk more about that at the end of the video. But we'll start off by having a look at the JMA. So um, this is the 500 bit of our height anomaly flow chart. We need to break it down to week period. So the first week period will take us from uh, today, the 26th of October, through to the 2nd of November. Looking at the North Pole view down, so that's the North Pole of the Northern Hemisphere just there, and then the middle latitudes of the Northern Hemisphere uh, around there. So 500 millibars, 8,000 feet is an area in the atmosphere, high pressure and low pressure are being moved around by the jet stream. Red and orange and yellow extrapolates to high pressure and blue to low pressure. So in week here, we find that we have above average heights out in the middle of the Atlantic. Uh, and also a bit of a blocking signal over the top of the North Pole as well. Uh, and then we have below average heights, uh, kind of like to the south and southeast of the country. So on the cold side of the jet stream, the jet is doing something uh, a little bit like that. Uh, we've got a trough within the 500 millibar flow. So that looks pretty cold and pretty unsettled, to be honest. Uh, we're bringing in the wind from a northeasterly or easterly type direction there. And with low pressure close to the country, you would expect um, sort of showers, longer spells of rain to be coming through as well. So cold, unsettled conditions in the week ahead. Then we go through to uh, week uh, two. This one takes us from the 2nd through to the 9th of November. And we have below average heights as a trough setting up in the Atlantic to our west with above average heights over to the east uh, and the northeast of the country. Uh, so again, the jet stream will be doing something uh, a little bit like that. Uh, it looks quite unsettled, this. We've got the blow average heights to our west, so they would be sending in uh, rain bands uh, and uh, sort of weather fronts across the country, bringing wet weather through the country. And probably reasonably mild as well with that. I think the flow is generally coming from a southwesterly type direction, doing something a bit like that between the low pressure to the west and the high pressure to the east. So quite a mild sort of um, uh, first week to uh, November with that one. And then we're through to weeks three and four. This takes us from the 9th through to the 23rd of November. And uh, what's going on here is that we've got below average heights, albeit quite weakly, out to our northwest around Greenland and Iceland. And then we've got a Scandinavian high, uh, high pressure up to our northeast. Otherwise, there's not a lot, lot else going on. I think there's a bit of a battle taking place here. So the high pressure to the northeast is trying to bring in these easy winds, which of course would be turning increasingly cold through the course of November. But at the same time, the low pressure in the Atlantic is trying to maintain uh, a westerly flow. So remember, it's a two weekly anomaly as well. So it might be transition. It could be something like in week three, the pattern is still very similar to that unsettled week two pattern. And then in week four, the high pressure takes over over Scandinavia and brings us easterly winds. It could be something like that. You can never totally discount the fact that um, a two week anomaly might be a little bit transitional. Overall, though, that does look like a little bit of a battle is taking place between the Atlantic uh, and low pressure at one end and um, sort of the continent and high pressure over Scandinavia at the other end of things. Uh, so let's have a look at the tropical and mid-latitude view in terms of temperature and precipitation anomalies uh, next. So British Isles is just here in the top right-hand corner of the chart as you are looking at it. So we find that in the week ahead, we have the below average heights down to our south. The above average heights are in the middle of the 
Atlantic and we bring in those east or northeasterly winds in week one, the 26th of October to the 2nd of November. So it's a cold of an average wind, quite sub substantially so. The temperature anomaly is coming out well below average there for the UK, for Ireland, for much of Central Europe as well. So we start off with uh, not only a cool week, but actually a cold week coming up for uh, week one. Precipitation-wise, it also looks rather unsettled as well, with precipitation generally a little bit above average for the UK and for Ireland and for many sort of central parts of Europe as well, coming out with above average precipitation there in week one. Into week two, this is the second through to the ninth of uh, November. So we've got the below average heights out to our west. We've got the above average heights over to the east. The wind is coming in from a west or southwesterly direction. So this one looks like it should be a milder, but also still fairly unsettled week. Temperature anomalies are going above average in uh, week two. So we recover the temperature from that cold uh, start in week one. Temperature recovers back uh, to a little bit above average in week two. But it's still unsettled with precipitation anomalies forecast to be rather above average again from the 2nd through to the 9th of November. And then we're into uh, week three and four. This from the 9th through the 23rd of November. And we can't see the uh, North Pole view uh, and Scandinavian view with this because that's off the chart. But we've already seen that view. So we know that up to our northeast, up here somewhere, uh, we've got high pressure of Scandinavia. And then we've got low pressure. We can just make the edge of that out uh, with that blue area there. We've got low pressure up here. So we've got westerly winds trying to be fed in off the Atlantic. But the Scandinavian high is trying to bring those easterly winds into uh, the UK. So let's have a look at the temperature anomaly and it is still coming out uh, above average, slightly above average, so not a big deviation, but we do see there that the uh, temperature anomaly is forecast to be ever so slightly above average for that two weekly anomaly. Precipitation wise, the rainfall is being pushed off to the north as well in this two week in this two weekly period. So for Scotland and Northern Ireland still above average precipitation for England and Wales uh, still, uh, England and Wales turning a little bit drier than average. Again, do bear in mind that could be transitional. So week three might be mild and unsettled. Week four might be colder and drier. Something like that could be going on uh, there. Right, so this is CFS V2. Let's see how the CFS compares to the JMA. So again, we start off with week one. Um, 500 bill of our height anomalies. This takes us from the 26th of October to the 1st of November. Uh, we have above average heights to kind of like the north and northwest of the country with below average heights to the south and the southeast. That leaves us pulling down these uh, sort of east northeasterly winds. So very good agreement between the two models really for the week ahead. Looks like it's going to be pretty cold. Looks like it's going to be unsettled uh, as well in week one. Week two also has good agreement. So uh, we have the above average heights again building to our east through central and northern Europe. Below average heights in the Atlantic. So we lose the northeast is and we revert with the uh, flow to kind of like a southerly uh, sort of direction a bit like that. So, yes, temperatures will be uh, turning a lot milder there through the first week of November. Then we're into week three with below average heights to our northwest. This is the 9th to the 15th of November. Below average heights to the northwest around Greenland and Iceland. Above average heights still to our east. A little bit closer to us, though, in week three. So uh, the flow of the jet will be going something like that. Looks pretty mild, and it could be turning drier as well. So especially for the south and the east, probably a reasonable amount of dry weather. Can't rule out, of course, frost and fog. The model will show warmer than average temperature anomalies here uh, due to the setup. But, of course, with high pressure building just to our east-southeast there uh, towards the middle of November, we would be at risk of frost and fog uh, night and morning, which would limit the temperature potential. 
And then we're into week four, and this one is the 16th to the 22nd of November. And now we're breaking away from what the JMA was shown because we're reverting to a, a westerly flow. This is a return of the westerlies, really. We've got high pressure with the Azores high down to our south. We've got low pressure up to the northwest. We're bringing a flat westerly flow in from off the Atlantic like that. So that's a much milder uh, and a much more unsettled week there from the 16th to the 22nd of November. Week 1 temperature anomaly is going from the 26th of October to the 1st of November. Forecast to be colder than average across most parts of the UK uh, and Ireland. In fact, most parts of Western and Central Europe also coming out with a substantially colder than average week uh, to start us off. But then we go milder than average in week 2. This one takes us from the 2nd to the 8th of November. Much milder than average then. Most parts of Europe also much milder than average also. Week 3, which is the 9th through to the 15th of November, that one also coming out uh, much warmer than average. Again, most parts of Europe are forecast to be very mild indeed during this week. And then week 4, which is the 16th to 22nd of November, rounds it all off with another substantially milder than average week. So this is a, quite a change, this JMA Friday from last week. Last week... We was indicating the chance of a reasonably cold November, potentially. Now we're looking, after quite a chilly start, uh, and that's mainly in the final days of October anyway, um, now we're looking at the chance of a very mild November. So quite a shift has taken place here over the past uh, week. Although the JMA is still hinting at the chance of something a bit colder during the course of um, November, but nowhere near as clear-cut as it was last week. So uncertainty for November now, even though we're quite close to the beginning of November, it is an uncertain picture. Um, the, the models today have uh, definitely uh, hinted at uh, a, a switch to something milder during November. Finally, precipitation. So uh, this is the precipitation anomaly for week one, the 26th of October to the 1st of November, is forecast to be drier than average in the week ahead. Uh, week two comes out wetter than average of the north and west to near normal uh, for the south and for the southeast too. Week three is close to average with precipitation. And then week four is a little bit wetter than average of the north and west and close to average elsewhere. I think that seems to get a rather unsettled uh, November, to be honest. Unsettled, quite wet and mild, really, being uh, forecast by the CFS V2 uh, for November. So... A little bit of a change on last week, and it does highlight the uncertainty we've got at the moment within the model output. What we can say is that the first week, week one, both models are in agreement. There's going to be a cold week, cold few days coming up. It looks like the early part of November now is actually turning quite a lot milder than we anticipated a few days ago. So the first week to 10 days looks like we're going to have pretty mild conditions and probably increasingly unsettled. Um, through the first week to 10 days of November. And then where we go beyond that from, from the middle of November into the second half of the month, I think that is quite uncertain. Do we continue that mild, unsettled, Atlantic-driven weather or do we build those uh, heights up to the northeast over Scandinavia and turn things colder into the middle and second half of the month? We shall have to wait and see. But at the moment, the models have definitely, long range models, have definitely backed away from last week's signal, which was for a quite a cold November. So it's an ever evolving, ever changing situation. At the moment, we can say we're going to have a cold few days coming up and then milder but more unsettled through the early part of November. And then we wait and see where we go from the middle uh, part of the month into the second half of the month. Remember, these rise rolls are always highly experimental. So as we've just seen from last week to this week, they are prone to chopping and changing. You're always going to get a lot of variability with them. Uh, so it could all look very different again uh, next week. Come back later on this afternoon when we'll have a look at the weather for the next week to 10 days in detail. Big weekend of updates coming up. Tomorrow, as I say, we've got weekend broadcast. We'll have a look at weather for the uh, week to 10 day period. And to start us off with at 10 a.m. tomorrow, we'll have the second seasonal model roundup for the winter of 2018-19. We get 11 long range models together to see what they're all showing for the winter for only the second time this season. And then on Sunday, we've got the ninth uh, winter update 
and also the final written update for Christmas. Christmas video updates will begin again on the 1st of November. Right, so that's all for now, and thanks for watching.